Well, okay, here's my latest one that I did. It's a Neil Pixel ring, which I got, I believe, from Banggood. And I'll either put the name of it at the bottom or maybe at the top, because if there's ads, uh, they usually cover up the bottom. And I'll put it in the description at the bottom also. So here it is. It's just got a couple wires, and I hooked it up to a little... Uh, Arduino Nano that I bought like uh, four of these at a time comes with the USB cable, a short one. It's not it's not very very long, but uh, but it works works great. And uh, you do have to do some soldering on the back. And let's see if we can get in closer with this here. Uh, yeah, well you got. Four things here. You got your five volts, your ground, your uh, data in, and your data out. But you have to connect each ring. But for all the uh, uh, five volts, it's just a continuous thing where you just connect all the five volt to five volt to five volt to five volt, ground, 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 ground. And I know my uh, soldering is a bit sloppy. I tried to do this with one wire and just putting solder on, but it wouldn't work. So I had to cut each wire and then join them and it seemed to work tons better. Why? I don't know. And then you have to take the uh, output from, uh, let me get this in here, the output from this ring to the input to, uh, output from this ring to the input to that ring, and then the output from this one to the input to the next one, and then uh, the output from that one to the input to the last one. And there's 61 of them, so, and that's why you have to use a coded wire so it doesn't short out the other wires. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I'm too close there, but that's the uh, best focus I can get on there. And then I did a right angle connection on the bottom. You can do a straight or you can just solder your wires right on there, but I wanted to have some flexibility here. So let's see if I can fire it up. Okay, before I forget, uh, here's what we got to do. And I'm not an expert on this here, but you know, you open up your Arduino um, file or whatever it's, it's called from your desktop and you always get this particular screen. I'm sure you're familiar with that. And then I'm going to go to examples. I'm going to go to file, examples, Adafruit NeoPixel, and strand test, which I've already downloaded before. So if you don't have that, you're going to have to go in and, and get it. And there's probably other ones you could probably use that might do the, the same thing. But this is the the one that I I used and it worked. So I'm happy with it there. So I want to go with that. And then it opens up this window. And uh, there's really not, not much you have to do here. The only thing I had to do was where it says uh, LED count, which was 60 on there. I had to change that to 61 because these concentric rings have 61 LEDs. And if you didn't know what pin to set on your uh, Nano, it tells you right there, use pin 6. So that's all set. So that's uh, basically all you have to do. Once you have this, then you you upload it to the Nano board, and you might have to know how to do that. There's other videos out there on how to do that. And uh, here's a look at the board. There's the 5 volt connection, the ground connection, and the D6 pin. So you got a good look. And here's the back of it. Of course, the connections are on the back. Of course, I'm using my usual, let me bring this back up here, my usual. Uh, things I got from Amazon that put out five volts. You just plug it into an outlet and you can plug two of them in there. And of course, like always, it's not gonna show up on the video as good as it is in person. And it's just a random uh, selection here. And either I'll put a, another screenshot or insert another vid of what Arduino uh, program or sketch or whatever they, call that that I used and I'll try to show you that too. So let's plug it in here 
and let's see here. So, yeah, it'll do, uh, just keep going, just randomly do a bunch of stuff here. And, uh, and it does that, and then it starts over, changes colors, and it goes slow, and then it goes in from the out, goes all the way around the edges, bada bing, bada boom. You know, you got all kinds of stuff going on there. So it's a neat little thing. The colors are changing, it goes frontwards, backwards, inside out, everything that you want there. So, uh, but it works. I can't believe all my sloppy soldering and it actually worked pretty good there. So, uh, so it's, it isn't real hard soldering. So if you're good at soldering, it's easy here. And the uh, program, I'm gonna turn this off now. I'll unplug it here, and the program is super easy. Here's the back of it. So that's what it is. Fits in the palm of my hand, and there's uh, 61 on here, and I'll insert the other pieces. Okay.